Okay, the concept piece up. Chef John, a.k.a. Thor here. Um, man, you can look back in time. Tupac sung about it. You can go even further back in time. And you can find it in the 60s. Um, and it came to me after I started calling the work I was doing, called Peace Up, um, I called it Tribe. And it was constantly destroyed by my outside entities being the ones who are watching me. Now, if you read The Hidden King, you'd be like, well, who's watching you? I'm like, all the families are watching me. Um, the, the eyes that are upon me, I mean, yeah, Federal Tap, all this stuff, because they want to know, all right? They want to know if these truths that I bring are what they I say they are. So, um, you know, the horoscope, yeah, blah, 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 said ideas, man. Are your ideas crazy? Are they so crazy that they're the truth? So, food. High fructose corn syrup and soy, 70% to 80% of processed food is made with it. Probably um, most of your store brought um, beef is not grass fed, is fed from soy gum and corn and um, soy. All of this has pseudoephedrine on their salt licks. The chicken, same thing, uh, pseudoephedrine, that's the same stuff they make dope out of. That's why you guys are sick all the time. I'm not sick. I'm able to maintain my high school weight. Why? Because after three years, your body turns over so you can just start eating properly. And as, as you go along, after the end of three years, if you just stay on a great diet, which is great food, do you see me eat? I mean, look, I'm like, I want some chocolate. You know what I mean? Uh, no, uh, boy, I don't want chocolate bar. I want some chocolate, all right? All right, you know, my buddy's in the store with me, and they're like, how much butter did you buy? Butter? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> That's my freezer, all right, guys? All right. It's like, I eat gourmet food on food stamps. All right. So, now that I, um, I've done it for four years, I've rebuilt this store in five months to what you see now, except for a little dry product and herbs and, and, and uh, spices that I had building, which only take about $10 every other month to like learn them. Buy them bulk at Winco, buy just like 20 cents of each, which is a bag like that. All right, just buy it, man. And then start smelling it, all right? All right, so next move for chefs will be into the grocery stores. The next move for the grocery stores in combination with the chefs, in combination with the distributors, in combination with the end of big corn and big soy, it's going to come back to the small farmers, okay? You don't have to read a book to be able to farm well, okay? So all these people who are, have problems with education, have problems with college, who are out of work, okay? One, I can teach you how to cook. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna show you how to do it, da, 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 put it in the stuff, and then I'm gonna give you the pan, and then I'm gonna tell you how to do it, and you're gonna do it, okay? And then third time comes around, this is Darden Restaurants too. Very successful chain, this is how they do it, so why, why change it, right? Man, I did so, they made millions off of my idea. Millions off my idea. The million dollar spat, my idea. Anyways, so, all ideas under a corporation remain to corporations. So, man, it's like, I really want you to look at your food and your life. And whether you want to be ill or healthy. If you want to be ill, eat fast food, drink soda, with high fructose corn syrup, not the Mexican so You can't even drink the water in Mexico, okay? All right, so now let's move into peace up. Peace up is anything that you can do or to better yourself or better your community. Now, when you read it, you're going to be like, dang, he's talking to the bikers and the drug users and the, well, I created peace up for my vision of what I saw since the age of 16, since I went from private schools with a, PSAT of 1472 and Princeton sending me letters and telling dad I said it'd been easy for me to be a lawyer or a doctor or I wanted to be a lawyer or politician it'd been easy for me to do that but what I got put into 
the sociological um like study of the human condition in the ghetto and the social ramifications of uh, social movement and growth and then studying King and Mandela and Sonny Barger and Malcolm X and then Sun Tzu and oh, Gandhi Essential and of course the Bible and you know and then um, other works by um, other scriptures and, and like look man there comes a time that the good men have stand by too long and I'm not saying those men of scripture we know you are there, but you need to step forth because that's what it says in all your scriptures that you are to take care of your brother. You are to honor your brother. Okay, so let's skip beyond that, skip beyond religion and all that. Peace up, man. So if I'm a gangster in a cell and I've been running drugs my whole life, and I read Peace Up Dragon, and Peace Up Dragon tells me, oh, look, every time you get high, you want to go out and break shit and steal shit and do destructive stuff. Why? That's what Dragon does. We're going to ask you why. We're going to go and take it to the next level. It's not N.A. where you sit back and you decide to talk. No, this is a bunch of brothers who... As we establish um, Dragon, I already talked to some count, a counselor and said I'm going to need counselors who understand Dragon, who understand cognitive, who understand how we get in and we change a human being's thinking by giving them dignity and giving them honor and giving them respect. And who's going to be side by side doing this? It's going to take a time, but it's, eventually it's going to be the police because they're not going to be police officers anymore. They're going to be peace officers okay we're going to start it here why is he going to start here do i have any money in my pocket i am the brokest brother on the street all right i'm in the hole all the time but i know i know that the saints are watching and seeing and like is this going to work yes it's got to work it's got to work okay because the brothers who read dragon and the elders who know that this is what must come about. Why do you think King's stuff was all released now, man? Why do you think all this is happening now, man? It's what we... It, we're about to make all the low places high and all the high places low, man. All things are about to even out. And the true human spirit, the endeavor of whatever we are supposed to be, man, is going to be expressed in this is in the citizenship of the United States of America. And soon, yeah, money's going to mean something, but not too much anymore. Because the basic rights of the second-class citizens will be instilled within the next 10, 15 years. Man. That's what Peace Up is about. It's like each and every one of us has the right. We can live on the side of the road. and I mean... If you're going to be here and you're going to better yourself, then after that you're going to find that you're going to want to better other people around you. Not just your children and your loved ones, but if you take it to the extreme that I'm going to, I, my, I put my life on the line for people who are suffering, people who are addicts, people who are like... Um, uh, in bad situations with their children, with drugs in the house, with crime in the house, with because the most important thing is that we don't break these families up, that we recreate the social social community that was broken down. Social community is the community outside your door. It's everybody. It's not the select few who want to run things and the elders and the other people we hide inside. Social community is everybody, man. We bring this back. And we do it with the peace officer's help. All right, so now, like, um, like something that happened the other night, right? There was something that, and like, a phone call in the first place would have meant, oh, maybe the guy would have given the phone call, phone back, and there would have been no fight, and there would have been probably, possibly no arrest. I don't know. I'm not too much versed in um, what the person had done before. But... Later, an hour later, there's eight people involved. There's violence extreme. I'm like, put down that. Put down the knife. Put down the bat. I'm like, 
Why did you slug me, dude? I'm just holding you back away from the other dude, man. And two against one. And I'm like, I found out a dude slugged the dude's mom. I'm like, yeah, you know? And I'm like, man. And then he slugs me, and I'm like, take him to the ground. I'm like, but do you see what the end result was? The first thing that I did when I ran out of the house was told the little boy, go in the house. Go in the house. Because he kept wanting to get closer to the fight because it's mom and dad there. He's scared. And I'm like, go in the house. And that little boy ran off screaming. And that will haunt me. I will never forget that. All right? I don't care about the dude who socked me. Whatever. Bikers, we fight for fun, man. <laughs> Y'all don't know. And the big dude who grabbed me from behind and said, you you know, I'm just letting all that go because y'all don't know. Y'all don't know what a tough guy is. Y'all don't know what extreme violence is. You get out here and do your little cowboy stuff and you get yourself in trouble. And the worst thing is two families now have to move. Seven children lose their homes. I wrote something on the back of my Dead and Five Heartbeats um, thing that I gave to one of the young homies here, Young G. Try, because he came in, he gave me a lot of honor when he first met me. And, you know, we talked about some things. And I, I'm going to see him progress. And I watched him progress, you know. And I wrote on the back of it because there's an incident. I don't want to go into it, right? But I wrote on the back of it, right? The most important thing is that a parent figure... Is not taken away from a child who needs it. And these gangster kids need it bad, man. So that's what Peace Up is, man. It started with the Black Panthers. It started with the Hells Angels. The oldest mafia in the whole country is the Asians. Look, dude, we started at home. We started in the ghetto. That's why there's going to be a Thunder Cafe in every ghetto across the United States. That's why there's going to be a, a Thunder Club, too. Why? Because you know, treat ladies with respect. All right? And I'm going to teach all you brothers in the ghettos how to cook. And we're going to teach you how to farm. And we're going to put you back to work, man, because we're going to put all America back to work. That's what we're going to do. And here's the last part of Peace Up. Last part, and you politicians, and you social services people, and senior disabled, and Lila, and HUD, and um, Section 8 housing, and all these programs, and the mission, and uh, all these programs are out there, and they're all satelliting, man. They don't know what the hell they're doing, man, from one to the next. Why is there not a central program that is watching the citizens... And prepared to help families immediately before they lose their home. Before they, they, they're they going through trouble with uh, the law, with um, getting a job, with working on school, with issues at home, drama, fights. We need that before we need the police. Okay? We need that before we need... We need the college, but we need to know how to get them to the college. We have all the jobs, but we need to have that to get them to the jobs. Okay? We need that as it grows, it becomes a housing community. Like, uh, um, uh, what's he say? Every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. Man, I watch that movie every year Christmas time. And it was a savings and loan, a housing savings and loan. And that's another thing that's going to come to the ghettos. Because all those ghettos in Baltimore, especially like I've seen it, where all those houses are boarded up, we're going to come in with big money and we're going to buy all that. And here's the thing. If you got kids, if you hold them, maintain a minimum wage job, and you got 